welcome to a new edition of Gourmet Express.tv. Today I want to cook for you oxtail. Oxtail in the Römertopf. Römertopf is like an old cooking pot. Um, in Germany they actually used that quite often, so like in the 70s, 80s. Um, the meat actually get really, really tender in that one. Um, it is really an investment to actually buy one of these ones, but it's really worth it. Um, there are several things what you have to uh, look after because um, I actually think not even the instructions at all really in detail. Um, because there is no glaze on, uh, the tone actually soaks up all liquid. So before you actually cook with the Romatop, you have to soak it in water for at least 15 minutes. Uh, I always give it an hour so that the whole pot is soaked with water. When you clean it afterwards, never ever take any chemicals or sunlight liquid and so on. Because all the sunlight liquid or the chemicals actually go into the pot and you have it in the next meal. So that is um, the golden rule from the Roma pot. Um, another thing on that is this pot can't stand to actually have huge difference in the temperature. So never ever take hot stuff into a cold pot or cold stuff um, don't put it when you take it out of the oven on a cold uh, surface put it on like a wooden board or cork or um, whatever a plastic board that is fine but when you have like a granite or so and, and it's very very cold and you need a long time to actually heat it up when you put the pot on because the temperature difference is, is there the pot cracks and you can throw it away. That is actually all. Um, you have hardly any loss of liquid in that pot because when you soak it, it's wet and you don't need to worry that uh, there is, um, it burns or it dried out and so on. So you cover it and you put it into the cold oven, not in the hot oven, don't preheat the oven and slowly when you uh, switch the oven on, the Römer pot, including all the meats and so on, they actually get the temperature. So that is the best way. Um, you also can leave it in an hour, two hours longer than the normal cooking time. So the oxtail we leave in for around about three and a half hours. The Römer pot keeps it even moist, like when you make it for four or four and a half hours, absolutely no problem. Don't look into the rubber pot because when you lift it up, all the um, humidity, what is in the pot, actually goes out, and that you don't want. So you want to keep all the moisture in. So that is the rubber pot. We start with the uh, oxtail. I have here around about uh, one and a half kilogram ox oxtail. I always like to put some bones in when I take uh, afterwards out, only to get a little bit more flavor out. Um, root vegetables, we have uh, carrots, leeks, um, celery, uh, also the stoke on the, on the very bottom, I leave it in, 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 uh, in one piece, so I can take it out easily, but it's lots of flavor in there. Um, I, take, I like to take these uh, pickle onions, the small ones, like 10, uh, one um, garlic, uh, only half it, then two bay leaves, a little bit of um, what is it? 15, 20 peppercorns and uh, four, five um, cloves. That's it. Then we need some parsley, uh, vinegar. I have here uh, a wine vinegar with tarragon and red wine. You need around about 250, 300 mils. Uh, don't take like a dodgy, the cheapest wine, what you actually can get. Take a wine what you also would drink. So the quality of the ingredients actually decide is your meal tasty or not. Because when you take like a funny vinegar in a two and a half liter bottle for, I don't know, uh, two dollars, um, that can't work. So we start with the oxtail. Only put the ox oxtail, what is already washed, into the bowl. Then the spices, like we said, the uh, bay leaf, the um, cloves and the peppercorns on the on top. We need roughly four tablespoons of vinegar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, roughly. Then take the wine. I think that is roughly 250, 250 mils. This one. Then the garlic, only chuck that in like that, plus the onions, and mix that all together. So that is done. Cover it and leave it in the fridge for uh, around about 24 hours to uh, marinate. So um, the vinegar and the red wine sort of tenderize the meat and gives a lot of flavor into the meat. And um, after 24 hours, we carry on. <laughs>